I'm Fred Clapton, I'm the head chef at the Clockhouse in Ripley. The first dish we're going to prepare today is scray cod with um, celeriac and saffron. So we're going to char a wedge of celeriac and very briefly we're going to char that on the plancher. We're going to take a lovely piece of scray cod, pop it through the oven for two to three minutes and we're going to pan roast that, finish it in lots of butter. And we're also going to finish that with some fragrant celery cress from Westlands. So first off we've got this smoked celeriac puree. We've just poured on a little bit of dill oil. So the celeriac wedge and we pop that on top of the puree. And now, next we've got the scray cod lightly pickled chicory leaves, followed by a dehydrated celeric crumb. And to finish it off, we've got the saffron sauce and the celery cress from Westlands. So here we have the uh, scray cod with celeriac and saffron. The second dish we've got is beef, sweetbread, brassicas and hen of the woods. So this dish has been on since day one. It evolves with the seasons. The core idea always remains, however, beef brassicas. So we're going to use short rib of beef, which we've marinated overnight. Uh, we braise it in red wine, port and brown stock. So we cook the sweetbreads in a really hot pan and finish with fresh butter. So the kohlrabi puree goes into the pan and we'll warm it up gently. The purple sprout and broccoli goes into a butter emulsion. The mushrooms are fried in some hot oil um, and again just finished with butter. Um, the beef will go onto the plate first. After the beef goes the sweetbread. So we've got the caramelised kohlrabi puree and the kohlrabi which has been salt baked and also the raw. We've got the purple sprout and broccoli followed by the pickled mustard seeds mushrooms, cabbage crisp and mustard sauce. And that's finished with the red mustard cress from Westlands. So there we have the beef, sweetbread, brassicas and hen of the woods. The third dish I'm going to show you is Yorkshire rhubarb, buckwheat and sorrel. On the plate we've got the buckwheat cream to one side and then we've got the rhubarb stew. It's got lots of juniper, pomegranate juice, grenadine and it's finished with some raw gin. Next we've got the poached rhubarb which is cut into small even squares. Next we've got the sorrel gel which is in a squeezy bottle and we just put three dots around the plate. Next we've got the apple and sorrel jellies and they're just dotted around the plate. Next we've got the pre-cooked disc of juniper shortbread and that's finished with a variety of Westlands sorrel cresses. So there we have the Yorkshire rhubarb, buckwheat and sorrel.